Dandy Walker malformation is a rare congenital malformation which involves the cerebellum, fourth ventricle, and the posterior cranial fossa. It is characterized by three main features. They are, a genesis or hypoplasia of the cerebellar vermis, cystic dilation of the fourth ventricle, due to a genesis of its roof, and enlargement of the posterior cranial fossa. There are many more abnormalities may present, however, Dandy Walker malformation is recognized whenever these three features are found. This is an MRI image of a normal cerebellum, lying on the posterior cranial fossa. And this is an MRI image of a Dandy Walker patient's brain. Here you can see the posterior cranial fossa is filled with a large cerebrospinal fluid cyst, and the poorly developed cerebellar hemispheres are represented by the letter C. And, the white arrows show the thinned occipital bone due to increased pressure within the posterior cranial fossa. This is another MRI sagittal section which demonstrates the agenesis of the cerebellum and the thinned occipital bone. Again you can see the posterior cranial fossa is filled with a large cerebrospinal fluid cyst. This image shows dilation of the lateral ventricles due to the obstruction of CSF flow. All of these abnormalities give rise to a lot of clinical manifestations. Obstruction of the CSF flow give rise to hydrocephalus, which is the most common clinical feature in Dandy Walker syndrome. Absence of the foramen of Lushka and Magendi, obstruction of the cerebral aqueduct, and dilation of the fourth ventricle are the causes of this obstruction. Due to the posterior fossa cyst, straight sinus and the tentorium cerebelli are elevated to a higher position above normal. And in most cases, sinus confluence and the lateral sinuses are elevated above the lambdoid suture. Due to high pressure in the posterior cranial fossa, the occipital bone becomes thinned, as we discussed earlier. And, possible brainstem compression gives rise to many other complications as well. The genesis of the cerebellum causes developmental delay, especially in motor coordination, walking, and maintenance of balance, muscle stiffness, and paralysis of the lower limbs. About 70% of children show other CNS abnormalities, such as dysgenesis of the corpus callosum, benign fatty lesions on the corpus callosum, also known as lipomas, holoprosencephaly, a condition in which the cerebrum has not divided into two hemispheres, dysplasia of the cingulate gyrus, schizencephaly, which is characterized by a CSF-filled cyst which extends from the ventricular surface up to the periphery of the brain, cerebellar heterotopia, microcephaly, seizures, vision problems, spina bifida, and spinal lipoma. About 20 to 30 percent of children show non-CNS abnormalities, such as orofacial deformities and cleft palate, polydactyly and syndactyly, cardiac abnormalities, urinary tract abnormalities like polycystic kidneys, cataracts and retinal dysgenesis, which leads to vision problems, and hypertelorism. Causes of Dandy Walker malformation could be genetic or environmental. Genetic causes include point mutations of certain genes, chromosomal mutations like trisomy, deletions, and duplications. Trisomy 18 is more common, but trisomy 13, trisomy 21, and trisomy 9 also can cause Dandy Walker malformation. Environmental factors in Dandy Walker malformation are teratogens, which possess the ability to cause birth defects in the fetus. These include chemicals, radiation, and even heat, like when the pregnant mother bathes in a hot water tub, heat can cause certain abnormalities in the fetus. And mothers with diabetes mellitus also at risk of developing Dandy Walker malformation in the fetus. Diagnosis is mainly based on imaging studies, including ultrasonography, CT scanning, and MRI scanning. Ultrasonography is useful in detecting Dandy Walker malformation before birth. This is a CT scanning of the cranial cavity. It is very similar to the MRI image we discussed earlier. You can see the large CSF cyst in the posterior fossa. And the poorly developed cerebellar hemispheres are represented by the letter C. And, this is another CT scanning of the brain. The arrows show displacement of the sinus confluence and the transverse sinus superiorly, 